A lot of the talk at the beginning of the season was certainly about their intentions in the Magnus League. Um, they've had they've had some good success. You know, they made a semi final in the RC two years ago. They won the Emlyn Challenge there last year. You know, they've certainly looked to address their their Magnus League form this year, and they've certainly done that. They're they're certainly well in the mix. They've got some. They got a good draw on the way home. They've got a game in hand, and they're certainly right at the top end of the end of the table. But you know, they're they're a side who when you look at them have a you know excellent strength right across the park with regards to forward. You know, led by Rush, and then you've got you know a back line with Lalala and the and the rest of them in there. So you know, at their day, they've proven that they can they can they can beat anybody. And but they play an expansive game, but they're ex- extremely good at the breakdown and possess a really strong uh, defensive component of their game so hard to beat at home as, as we well know um, we, have a, we have a quite a poor record away to Cardiff um, so really for us coming back in from Ireland and and having to learn a few new bits and pieces obviously line out calls um, you know, different la- a small bit of a different language defensively and a different language in attack and a a few different plays and, and only having a six day turnaround to do it essentially that's all we focused on this week is Cardiff and getting getting that right if we get a good result over there you know we can put ourselves in a great position going forward but at the moment for me and for most of the lads we haven't looked beyond that Yeah it's going to be another tough massive game over there it's always difficult playing them at their home ground um, they're attacking side and also a physical side so we got to front up on all the all the areas on on Friday night and to get a result. Now, in in the past, we've probably played a, a lot of games in Wales over the Six Nations and Autumns, where you know traditionally we probably haven't been in our strongest with regard to uh, name players in the squad. And we've worked really hard to to rectify that. We've we've come up short against Dragons uh, the last couple of times. Cardiff, we don't have a great record there away from home. I think we've lost. Uh, since 2006, I think we've lost nearly every game. Last win was 2005. Scarlets, uh, we've won there the last two out of three, and then Ospreys, we won there two years ago, lost last year. So it's been a mixed bag with regard to to playing away. But I think the, you know the Magnus League competition is you know reflects a lot of major competitions around the world that it is very difficult to win away from home. I don't know if we're any different to any anyone else. If you look through anyone else's records in travelling to Wales and travelling to Good sides like Cardiff, Scarlets, who have improved dramatically, and and Ospreys. It's a difficult place to go to anyone's home venue in this competition the way it is, and you know, I think that's reflected in Treviso and Aroni's form too at home, where they both certainly lifted and been very strong there. Yeah, I'd love to to keep playing now and and, and get a run under my belt. I think um, I think that I think that's where really the match fitness comes when you play four or five weeks in a row. Last season, whatever way I went between... I, I, I had a small little hamstring injury for that kept me out for one game, a calf injury which kept me out for one game, and we had the ice as well. And last season, I only ever played three games in a row once and never played anything more than that. So it was always two weeks on, a week off. Or, and, and I just don't think you can hit the real levels you need to hit. Well, I can't anyway hit the real levels I need to hit to play so I'd love to get a run of games under my belt now. And if, you, if you're looking at the top sides and you're looking at where they are and the draw that, that each side you know, has in its path on the way home, we certainly have the most difficult draw you know, with regards to the sides that we're playing at the top of the ladder and where we play them. You know, the Cardiff, Cardiff, Scarlets and Ospreys away from home and Leinster at home and obviously a very much improved and very determined Connacht side in the last game of the season so you know, certainly you, you want to get a, a real strong gauge on where you are and certainly those sides will provide that for us. So, you know, if you're going into finals, you want to make sure that you've got a hard run home and we've certainly, we've certainly been provided with that.